metal stocks have been running and running quite sharply in the past couple of months. Major steel makers have witnessed a rise of as much as 20% in the past month alone. What are the reasons for this rise? What are the expectations from earnings for the quarter gone by? George Erin is standing by with some details of what's going on in the metal space. George. It looks like it's a turnaround as far as the metal space is concerned after languishing for the past many years. In fact, uh, pricing prior is likely to have returned to most of these steel majors as they have hiked their prices anywhere between uh, 4 to 5 percent in the last couple of months, which includes the likes of JSW Steel, which have taken the highest ever price hike at this point of time. There's also been a sharp increase in input costs uh, that's, that has actually led to this uh, increase by most of these steel majors. So that's why there's a return as far as the pricing power for these majors are concerned at this point of time. Domestic steel prices Prices have also been aided by the sharp drop in steel imports at this point in time. And it comes at a time when global steel prices have actually been flat on a sequential basis, barring North America, which has actually moved 10%. So it's pretty much the return of pricing power for most of these steel majors at this stage. Also, domestic, uh, domestic steel, uh, uh, the exports have actually become uh, more profitable at this point of time, uh, more than imports, primarily due to the weak rupee, especially since May when the rupee has actually weakened over this past five months. As far as brokerage earnings uh, into quarter two, are concerned. Most of them have an upbeat uh, outlook as far as the metal stocks are concerned. Uh, weak rupee, it's likely to boost the domestic realizations for these metal majors on a sequential basis. Also, there has been normalization as far as the operations of most of these metal majors, like Hindalco, our Sessa Sterilized is concerned after the outages that they witnessed in quarter one for most of their plants. Net debt, on the other hand, is expected to rise primarily due, uh, primarily due to the uh, weaker rupee witnessed in the quarter. Uh, this includes the likes of Tata Steel and JSW Steel, which has a high forex debt at this point in time. So it's positive outlook as far as the mo as far as most of the analysts are concerned for quarter two.